One of the best things about growing plants in terracotta pots is being able to clean them up and reuse them. This video will show you how I take my planters that look like this to looking like new again. Please remember to give this video a like if it's helpful to you. It really helps me. And consider subscribing to this channel if you need a little bit of houseplant YouTube in your life. I have a pretty good pile of different sizes of pots that are filthy and need to be cleaned before I would want to use them with any of my other um, plants. So the first thing I'm going to need will be a toothbrush or any kind of like firm brush. You need to have, it needs to ha be able to hold its shape. It can't be like a real soft paintbrush or anything like that because the first thing I'm going to do is remove like the dirt or loose potting mix that is inside of each pot. And if there's anything on the outside, I'm going to do the same thing as well. So it's not very exciting or glamorous, but there it is. It's an important part of getting this thing cleaned up. So you'll see that this is certainly not a perfect job, but um, anything that was loose is pretty much out of there. And I actually used my fingers as well sometimes, and you can see that. <laughs> that got some stuff out i'm also going to do this on the outside of the pot because i have a lot of mineral salts that are certainly inside um, coming through uh, from the terracotta but you can see it does remove some of it so i'm just going to go ahead and get whatever's big enough and chunky enough that i can and There we go. So that one is ready to be soaked. So I'm going to go ahead and do this with all of the pots that I have here today and we'll move on to the next step. Next thing you need is a bucket or sink of water and we're going to add vinegar to this. All right, here we go. Adding vinegar. So there are a hundred different recipes for this that you can find uh, out on the internet. But I like to eyeball it and it's always worked for me. Uh, if you want what is probably the closest I can give you, it would be about one part vinegar to four parts water. Um, and some of you could use less and you can certainly use more you can go all the way up to using pure vinegar if you have a really bad pot um, but in this case I think that'll do just fine so let's get our pot and we're gonna set him down in there I'm gonna bring you closer to you so you can hear the fizzing that's my favorite Well, with all the other noises in the basement, you may not have heard anything, but you could see that it was fizzing. And um, that is just the reaction happening between the built up soluble salts, um, mineral salts, and the vinegar. It's this really great fizzing noise, totally cathartic. I love it. Okay, so you can see that after soaking, most of what was on here is completely gone. You can see a little bit of like foamy stuff here. And so at this point, I just take whatever I'm using for scrubbing. It doesn't have to be a toothbrush. It can be any kind of scrub brush that you have. And, and you can see right where that stuff is just, what's left of it that hasn't been broken down by the vinegar is scrubbing right off. And so I'm gonna go right round the entire pot doing this, and then I will do the same thing on the inside and report back. Here is my pot after scrubbing. There is no 
obvious residue anywhere left, which I like. It came all the way clean. Um, don't forget when you're scrubbing to get the bottom of your pot, the inside of your pot. Um, stuff likes to get like right in that little rim there. And so just once you have it clean to, once you have your, your pot clean to your liking, then you just have to rinse. And we do that because whatever you've soaked your terracotta in, it has taken into itself. So we don't want to plant something in here and then the next time we water that plant, vinegar come to its roots. That would be terrible. Um, so we want to rinse this pot out really, really well. Um, another thing you can do if you have a dishwasher and run it is run it on the quick wash cycle. And that's an excellent way to rinse your pots. And you can also um, sanitize them just by using the hot water. So that's also a good, a good way to rinse and sanitize your um, pots after they've been soaked and scrubbed. So my pot has been completely dried out now. I use um, like the kind of rack that you will cool cookies on to set my terracotta pots on and allow them to dry completely top and bottom. Uh, that way the air can circulate around. And so it is now time to store this away for next year. But I did want to caution before you do start stacking your pots, your clean pots back up, really do give them a good, I don't know, at least 48 hours, maybe even longer than that, depending on how humid your climate is. Um, give them a good long time to get dry, like on a rack. Like I just set mine in a place where they're not gonna be in my way because these, if they would be stacked while they still have some moisture in them, you will have mold. <laughs> You can just take it to the bank and cash that check because it will form, you know, just from having that moisture and then them nesting in each other the way that you would store your terracotta pots. Um, yeah, it's just asking for trouble. So my best advice for that is at least at minimum 48 hours, but even longer if you can stand it. So I think I'm going to do a really quick recap, just showing all of the steps so that you don't have to go all the way back through the video. Um, it'll just be like a real brief little summary at the end. And I just want to um, ask you all to please remember to subscribe and like this video if it was helpful to you. Um, that really does help this channel grow and it is so appreciated. I, I never tell you all that and I, I don't know why. It's just because the camera turns on and I become a nervous, crazy wreck. <laughs> so um, I, I'm telling you now, I really appreciate you. Um, I appreciate you watching and I appreciate especially those who re-watch or um, watch other videos that I have as well. Uh, it means a lot. And so I hope you all, I hope that our new year is better than 2020. Um, and I will see you all really, really soon. Take care.